Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be doing a product review of this Arteryx Fission SV Glove. I don't know if that's how you say it. Fission? Fission? Fission maybe. It's F-I-S-S-I-O-N. Anyway, it'll be in the product title. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but that's what this is. So I bought this glove and uh, I've been using it for the whole season actually. So we're going to go through my experience and at the end I'm going to say whether I would recommend for you to buy this glove. I've been using it for skiing, but I think you could use it for any winter activity and probably have the same results as what I did. So, all right, let's get started. So first thing about the glove is the fit. I typically take a medium in most things, whether it be shirts or pants or gloves or whatever. This is a medium. So I would say the fit is accurate. It fits like a medium, fits my hand very well. I am 5'9", about 170 pounds, and it, it fits me well. It's gotten wet several times, soaking wet. I've dried it out. I don't put it in the dryer, put it out to dry normally underneath a vent, and it has not shrunk, of course, or anything like that due to the materials. So it's Gore-Tex and a polyester material, so no shrinkage at all, and so it still continues to fit me very well. So for overall fit, I would say 10 out of 10 fits very well very accurate as far as the sizing. However, some people in the reviews have said that the glove fits large. I would have to disagree with that based off of my experience. This glove does not fit large to me. The only thing that I can imagine is perhaps those people that left the review saying that it runs a little large. Maybe they had uh, a different size where the variance is larger. Maybe that, but for a medium, I'm a medium, fits perfect. So Arteryx advertises this glove as being water resistant. I would say that is true. It has a Gore-Tex membrane. It has some leather on the palm here and it has some polyester material, especially on the inside. My hands do get wet when I'm using this glove when it's say raining out, especially if I'm out for a prolonged period of time, my hands are getting wet. Just for general snow conditions, my hands are staying nice and dry and very warm. So I would say the claim of these being water resistant is again accurate. So one of the qualities of a glove that I look for, probably the most important quality of a glove that I look for is will it keep my hands warm? And the glove looks very nice. The glove looks like it would keep my hands warm. And when I looked at it online, I thought, okay, the marketing is pretty good. It, they've made it look very good, but is it going to be functional? Is it going to keep my hands warm? When I read the reviews, there was quite a few reviews that said that it won't. So I was immediately very skeptical of this glove, but Arteryx has very good return policies. So I took the chance, I bought the glove, thinking the worst case scenario, I'm gonna send it back. And I just wore it outside a little bit and it was fine. I took it skiing all season and again, it was fine. I've taken it in some very cold conditions and it's been totally fine. I've got it soaking wet and it remained very warm. My hands were fine. So the reviews that say that this, this glove is cold, I, I would be curious where you are going and what you are doing to make your hands cold. To me, that was one of the most impressive things with this glove was that my hands were never cold. Sometimes when I'm unloading my truck or getting ready to go and taking all my gear off, my hands will get cold because I have to take these gloves off. And sometimes when it's really cold, I will wear a pair of wool gloves with no fingers on them, like fisherman gloves. So I have the dexterity so that I can put all my stuff away properly. That's the only time when my hands are getting cold. But right after that, I put these gloves back on and within a few minutes, my hands are warm again. So perhaps I'm just not in cold enough climates to, to get that. But for me, I would say, if you're in North America or m most places that you're going to be fine with these clubs. If you're skiing on the resort, if you're doing Alpine touring in the backcountry, if you're doing day trips, uh, you're definitely going to be fine. I can't see a condition where your hands are going to get cold with these clubs on. If they get wet and you're doing a multi-day traverse or something like that, then sure. Yeah, it's, it's definitely possible. In that case, you could always get some liners that you could put in here. There's a little bit of room where you could have a thin, say, wool liner that you could probably use. I never did that. I had no need to do that, but that's something you could look at or just get another pair of gloves that you could wear while you're drying these out. Maybe if you're doing a multi-day 
resort visit, you probably want to have mul multiple pairs of gloves anyway. So that's something you could do just to safeguard against that possibility. But I, I think, again, 10 out of 10 for keeping my hands warm. The other thing that a lot of people look for in a glove is dexterity. Can I use my phone? Can I grab things with the gloves on? And I can't use my phone with these gloves on. I don't even try. I mean, look at the fingers, right? Like, I, I can't do very much on my phone. And, and why would I? But I could just take them off and then use my phone. And that's what I do when I'm skiing at a resort or something like that. I have my phone in my pocket. I pull my glove off, do my little Twitter or whatever I'm doing, send my, my, my email or my text. And then I put it back in my pocket. I go do my runs. And some of the problems I've had historically with gloves when I'm taking them off is that then the liner pulls out and then it becomes very hard to put them back on and all the fingers get all gummed up, right? And it's just, it, it, it's, it's a bit problematic that way. Uh, and I was expecting that with these gloves because I don't know if you can see, but you see the liner there. It's, it's very typical, right? So I just thought it's gonna be the same old thing. When my hands get a little bit sweaty or wet, then it's gonna be, it's gonna be difficult with that. I'm gonna have that problem. But I didn't with these at all. So I don't know what they've done I think what they've done perhaps is they've done some stitching in the actual liner that prevents it from pulling out. I remember in the old days, the whole thing would pull out. So the liner would be inside out and you have the fingers sticking out here, right? And you'd have to stick it all back in there. This doesn't do that at all, which is, which is fantastic. The inside liner is really soft and it's this kind of like Gore-Tex-y material. It's almost like a soft shell jacket material on the inside. And if you're familiar with those, especially the, the last few years, it's very soft material. Uh, definitely feels, uh, of course, synthetic, but really nice. And I find that being synthetic, it doesn't stink, which normally it would. You'd think like a synthetic shirt's gonna stink when you sweat, but it doesn't. And it also doesn't make my hands feel sweaty, which is, I don't know how they're doing that, but that's good. Again, I was impressed. I was actually more impressed than I thought I would be with these gloves. As far as features, these gloves don't have a whole bunch of features, but they have the features that I typically look for in a ski glove. They have, uh, of course, it's kind of over the cuff style for this glove. And I like that because I'll put my ski jacket on, I'll, I'll tighten up the wrists, and then I will put this glove over top of my ski jacket. And it makes it a little bit difficult to get to your watch or something like that but that way the snow is not gonna go up my sleeve. So this is the type of glove that I would typically go for with this kind of shrouding, right? That's not the technical term they use, but that's my term. And then they've got this little piece here where you can pull that and tighten up the drawstring to tighten this up if you want. I never do that, but you could. It's an option. Also, they've got this little cordlet thing here that allows you to put this around your jacket so that you could then take the glove off and then it's going to just dangle from your sleeve like like you did when you were five again i don't do that you can actually take this off there's a little thing here where you can it's just looped around and you can just take that off if you want i haven't bothered yet just because i thought this might be handy for hooking it on something to store them or something but for the most part for me this just kind of gets in the way and I, and I know it's going to get hooked on something eventually. But it, I think it's nice if you're into that, right? If you want it to dangle off your sleeve, then it's there for you. So it's a nice option. The other option, which I've never used before except for this season, was they've got this little loopy thing on the, well, this finger. What that allows you to do is take a carabiner or a, or a clothespin or whatever it is, or just a whatever hook and just hook it on there and hang your glove this way so it's going to dry and, and moisture will drip out of there, I guess is the theory. I, I did that and I think it dries a little faster than just throwing them on the floor near a vent or something like that, right? I think you probably get a little bit better circulation uh, when you do that. The other feature that I would look for in a glove would be the material on the outside of the glove that you might use should you have excess, let's say, fluids coming out of your uh, you know, nose or mouth, right? Doing some of that maybe if it's really cold out. This glove doesn't have that. It's just got a really nice leather material and it's got the Gore-Tex and polyester. So, you know, you could still wipe your face. 
some of them will have a nice really soft material right there which which would be okay I guess but I'm not really missing that I still like these gloves a lot extremely comfortable extremely functional I see no wear on these gloves at all at all from the whole season and I wore these a quite a bit and I wasn't exceptionally careful with them I just threw them in the bag afterwards I didn't clean them very much just I dried them out a little bit but that was about it so they've they've performed quite well so if we look at the value to cost for this particular glove normally you're going to pay a premium for the Arteryx brand for that logo you're going to spend a percentage more than you normally would for some other brands for sure right however for this glove when I priced it out one of the reasons I bought this particular glove was that the pricing was very fair so if you look at the alternatives and I'll put a list of those down below you'll find that the price pricing is actually pretty good for what you're getting for this glove one of the other gloves that I was looking at as an alternative to this was the black diamond guide glove now that looked very attractive very heavy duty much more heavy duty than this glove and of course a little bit more money as well so I think if you want something more durable more heavy duty that might be an option for you however for me for what I'm using it for and the amount of money that I wanted to spend this was the option for me and I think it probably would be for for most people I think this glove is actually in a sweet spot as far as ski gloves it's high quality it's a great brand great reputation for the brand good return policy materials are good durability is good comforts good price is good how often do you see that right so I'm pretty excited about this glove and I'm glad I made the purchase I didn't return it and I would probably buy this glove again if this ever breaks or if I lose it or something like that so I'm very happy with this purchase who would use this glove I think anybody that's going to enjoy winter sports whether that be skiing alpine at the resort backcountry uh, snowshoeing whatever it might be then I think that this would be totally sufficient for you and I think you're going to be quite happy with it so I've never given such a good review for a product and I just have to say I'm very pleased with my purchase on these gloves well worth the money that I paid for these gloves and I'm very satisfied with them so this is the Arteryx Fission 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 Fison Fission I don't know whatever SV glove great glove I would recommend you buy this glove if you're on the market for a new set of snow gloves hopefully this review was helpful for you and hopefully you'll check out these gloves and let me know how they work for you if you already have these gloves and they're working out well for you or not let me know in the comments down below I'd love to hear from you and I'm sure everybody else would as well all right that's it for me today thank you very much and uh, I'll see you later